Hi guys, Todd here. Back out in the shed, vaping away on a Saturday with my red rod. Um, this thing is just... This is the red rod. And that is a K-Fun Nano that's on it just now. This thing is 46 millimeters in size. It is an 18350 mechanical mod. It's exquisite. Really is exquisite. We'll go and show you close-ups and uh, let you see it in a lot more detail. The thing I want to stress with this, as with you can review certain mods, and uh, I'm not making excuses here by any stretch. I'm not making excuses. You can get the uh, CNC, you know, made by computer, big huge machines, and you, you expect a certain standard of finish. Uh, you get mod makers uh, that uh, do things themselves on a lathe. Uh, you know, they turn it by hand. Uh, this top to bottom is made by hand. Um, it's made by a guy called Alex. Now, Alex got in touch with me. Alex is from Russia. He got in touch with me a, a month ago, I think it would be. And uh, he asked me if I would like to have a look at one and, you know, f with a view to do a review. And I said yes. Uh, when I saw the pictures, I said yes, please. Um, so this arrived, and I'm not going to lie, this arrived today. I'm doing the review today because, well why am I doing the review today? I've not used it for any great length of time. Mainly because there are so few parts to this. I'm not going to learn anything using this over the course of many days that I can't tell you right now. And you'll see what I mean when we go in for close-ups. Um, this is <laughs> 55 euros, um, which for the smallest 18350 mod I've ever seen, uh, I think is an incredible price. Uh, one thing I will point out, I mean, is Laslamos is his Facebook page. That's where you get a hold of him. The link will be in the YouTube description and up in the corner here. Um, as these are made by hand, there is a certain turnaround time. Um, now, he's, he's, I ask certain questions when I get something for review, and he's, he's answered here as well. So, uh, to date, there have been six pieces, and I've got number six here manufactured, and there there's 16 orders after that. Um, I mean, he says here, each made is made to order, not mass produced method, without drawings from beginning to end. Now, he does say that Red Rod does not claim in the high end segment and application, and orientated with users who are willing to give up the versatility and extra parts as the center pin and the locking button. There is no center pin in this, and there is no locking button. And that might not translate too well because his English isn't that great. Uh, well, actually, his English is probably better than my English. Uh, anyway, um, it's made from copper brass. It's got a magnetic switch, and it, it's just tiny. Here we go, have a vape. That's a 1.3 ohm coil in there and it just performs really well. Um, no issues at all with the performance. The, the only issue I have is it's, it's so small. I think we should just go in for close-ups here because I'll just... just <laughs> As Damien was saying in his uh, Safer Vapors review about the Paps X, you know, you can sit and look at something. This is one of these things you can just sit and look at it. It's just... Oh, it's just 
stunning, absolutely stunning. Right, close-ups, here we go. That's it. That's what you get for your money. Now, as far as I can tell, the threads are 22 by 1, or 20 by 1, I should say, sorry. And I'll take the, the top cap and the switch out of the way and just show you this. So it's a brushed copper tube. Solid tube. And we'll get the calipers out here. If the battery hasn't gone flat in them already. Oh, it's just hanging in there and no more. And this should be... 21.72 in diameter. Now it is a 22mm because the, the top cap and the switch do protrude just a little bit around the edge when they're attached. But there you go, that's finished on it. If you don't like the brushed then, because it's copper, you know, if you were to just go over this with a Cape Cod cloth for a wee while, you'll probably find that most of the brushed marks will go. Uh, I think this is laser engraved. It's kind of raised on the surface so it feels like it. Yeah. Uh, but there be the tube. Top cap. That's it. Brass top cap. 510 threading. Um, I can't tell you anything else. I'll come back to this in a minute. And uh, yeah, just a tad over 22 mil on the top cap. There's the switch. That's a thin switch. Uh, very thin. I mean, the switch itself is 6.2 millimeters. Um, and there's magnets inside here. Uh, I'm not going to take this to bits because I can tell you now there's just a little magnet in there uh, repelling one another and that's all there is to it. There's this Delrin piece here which looks a bit crooked in places but it's it's got a resistance to it. You know you push the button and it comes out past but it does take out a bit of variation in batteries because it does compress as well. Uh, but the way this works, pop your bottom switch on, well your bottom switch, your only switch. And you can see that it just sticks out a little bit on the actual tube. Take your battery, now I've got an EFS nipple top here which is it's slightly larger than an AWIMR but the AWIMR works perfectly as well. I just wanted to show this because with an with an IMR because it's slightly larger. Pop it in. Top cap. There's your nipple there. That's it. Just to check the size on this baby. 46 mil it is. So what happens is, you know, you take your ATI of your choosing, you just screw it in and your ATI makes direct contact with the battery. Now, just the reason I'm using the k Light Plus here is because it's got quite a long 510 thread on it. So that's it kind of making contact now. You can see there's a bit of a gap, but I can screw it down because, like I said, there's that little bit of movement in that Delrin round the switch which gives you this the button you can pretty much press anywhere and it will fire it will not auto fire because it's, well, it's just slightly recessed there you've got the this engraving on Bobcat, I have to be honest, I don't really know what that, if it's just decorative or if it actually means something. I have to apologise for not knowing that. But there you go, you can see the switch. Take 
take this off and I think we'll pop something else on here just to show you in operation there's a brass quasar which is a 22mm dripper look at that right that is about it that's about all I can show you um, so brass brass copper the battery there's no center pin the battery makes direct contact with the, the pin on whatever atomizer you put on copper contacts and magnet in the switch and that is it it's so simple it, it is frighteningly simple um, and also beautiful I mean, that's with a brass quasar on top. I just, I, I blah, love this. Um, just for example, there's the the ha, uh, Hamaroko uh, from Mini E6. That's 18350 with, uh, there's no top cap on it, it's got a 22mm dripper screwed straight in. And, and look at the size of that, difference of that. It, it's just tiny. Um, and it performs. It performs so well and it's 55 euros. <laughs> um, I have tried short and low, you know I've got different atties and they're all at different 510 threading on them and uh, I've tried short ones and long ones and I don't seem to be having any issues um, threading anything on this I'm not getting a gap there's always you know that little bit of that delta in the bottom just takes up that gap. Um, everything's gone flush onto it. Like I say, I've been using it with an AWIMR18350 and an EFEST18350, both no problems at all. It does recommend that, uh, well, let's see what he says here. Uh, yeah, he says it's guaranteed to work with batteries, 18, nipple top 18350s which are not protected. Um, and that's it. This will this is possibly a very relatively short review because there's so little to say with it. What 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 can I say? The the threading, 510 threading, not an issue. There was a little bit of uh, polishing compound in it. I just cleaned it out and it, it was fine. Um, the switch, I don't have. I don't have. I have no issues with this. I'm totally smitten uh, with it. Uh, I'm not a fan of the brushed finish personally, but uh, that's just personal opinion, uh, taste. Sorry. Uh, I if. I hope he keeps making them the way he's making them by himself doing it for the love of just making these things which from talking to him is is why he does it it seems to be that he loves doing what he's doing it interests him it's a wee hobby and uh, he's enjoying it and i think alex if you watch this you have to be commended you've made something in my opinion very beautiful uh, very beautiful and I love it to bits. I wish you every success with this and I think everybody that gets one would be very very happy to have this in their collection. Um, the only downside to it is its size. Because it's so small it's just you're okay with certain things but you've got to learn how to hold it. You can't hold it like 
that because you tend to block the airflow off in your devices because it's so small. Um, that's enough. I'm, I'm rambling now. It's beautiful. If you're on the list, yeah, lucky buggers, um, you're going to love it. And that's it from me. I got this free for review from Alex himself. Um, I'm thrilled to have one. Um, guys, thank you for watching as always. Um, and Dave, we will catch up with you soon. Sorry for the loving uh, love fest there. Uh, but uh, yeah. if this floats your boat, you'll be happy. We'll catch you later. All the best now. Cheers.